we need quality teachers. And what I mean by quality is it's not necessarily a book smart. It's people who are dedicated with, within the craft. I just wanted to give them the opportunity that the world is theirs and that horn is going to take them there. Be ready on it. One, two, one, two, percussion, groove. My name is Brandon D. Smith. I am currently the director of bands at North College Hill High School. Um, my primary duties are conducting the symphonic bands and the athletic bands. Um, I am originally from Detroit, Michigan, Motown, for all those Ohio fans. Um, I grew up in Southwest Detroit um, in River Rouge, Michigan. Growing up in River Rouge, uh, River Rouge is a uh, tough blue collar city, industrial city. Um, that you know, it's either it's either one or two things. It's either you, either you fall by the wayside or you make it. So, um, being in Detroit, you know, living literally ten minutes away from Motown, um, Barry Gordy, you know, it's it's so much strong history and roots there with the music and you know, I grew up going down to Shane Park with my mother, seeing different groups and you know, the OJs, Gap Band, Temptation, you know, everybody would come through Detroit. So, you know, I got a, a chance at an early age to see, you know, a lot of the greats, you know, that a lot of people that my age, at my age right now, we only heard on, you know, the radio. And I actually got to see a lot of those people live so you know I was exposed to you know good quality music at a, at a very early age so that really that really caught my ear and you know seeing those live bands you know it wasn't the DJ one rapper or one singer out there you know it's actually a, a cat out there on the drum set a guy on the bass you know a saxophone player getting down a trumpet player so you know seeing that 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 really caught my eye for music to say, hey man, you know, that's kind of cool. I like that, you know. We're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do a, another one this year. Another one. Another one. My long term dream was really, you know, I, I, I felt like I had found something that was my own. I felt like I had my own identity, um, you know, where something where I was actually good at, you know, I was at the top of the class, um, playing wise, and you know, I was actually receiving praise for what I was doing. And you know, when you get that type of gratification, you know, it really kind of propels itself. Um, my biggest thing when I look at the students, uh, my goal for them is to give them that same quality education that I receive in music. And also the bigger picture, is give them that same opportunity that I had, you know. By the time I was in, let's say, 10th, 11th grade, I had been almost everywhere on the Eastern Seaboard. I had been to numerous colleges and universities and parades and performed in front of various senators and governors and, you know, giving them that opportunity to say, hey, you know what? I've been in front of the president. I've been in front of my senator, or I've been to the Capitol. I've been to the White House, or I went down to Disney World, or I've been to New York. I've been to Chicago. You know, because a lot of the times, you know, you as an educator, you will get kids that have never been outside of the borders that or confines that they live in. And you know, to be able to take them and say, well, hey, you know what? You go home, pack a bag, and bring your horn back and we're all leaving and going here. And, you know, that, that's, that's something that you take with, that's something that they can take with them, you know, for the rest of their life. That's, that's, that's a life-changing experience. That's the difference between breaking a mindset of a child living in a certain area and thinking, well, you know what, this 
one by one mile is 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 all I ever I'm ever going to amount to. I like to call myself the Mad Hatter sometimes with band, you know. Um, <laughs> you may hear us play Hang On Sloopy one minute. <laughs> you may hear us play some little Boosie the next. Um, <laughs> you may hear us, you know, play A Night in Tunisia. Um, you may hear us play some Tony Tony Tone. You may hear us play some Michael Jackson. Uh, you know, it. You uh, I want something for everybody when they, when they're, when, 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 when the kids are playing. But when we go out and say, "Hey, you know what? I want everybody in the family that has came out to see that North College Hill band, and I want them to go home and say, did you see that band?'" Being a solo act is hard, but you know, it does have its advantages. And, you know, unfortunately, sometimes it does follow me where I have to, you know, design um, dance features for, for the majorettes and our Trojanette dance line. And, you know, I kind of let I kind of let them have a little little bit of freedom in, in, into what they want to choose within, you know, moderation, of course. But you know. I will. I do get on them just like I get on everybody else in the band. Just as I was correct that wrong note, I'll go out there on the field and say, no, this I, I can't really twirl that great, or I, I'm not a dancer. But, you know, I, I've been blessed to have been around great auxiliary directors my whole entire band career, like uh, Cherie Level and uh, Sylvia Kelly. So what I do know, I know what it's supposed to look like, you know, and the biggest thing is pageantry. And, you know, when, when I'm looking at it, I'm looking for things like, hey, are the hands right? Are, are the toes pointed? You know, is, is the technique good? You know, does it flow with the music? And, you know, so as, as far as that, I make, I make it happen, you know. And, you know, we, we, we have, you know, had pretty good majorettes and, 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 and Trojan and dance line, but, you know, it's hard, but you know that you know sometimes that's the hat you have to wear, you know. So, I mean, they laugh at me, but you know, I tell them all the time. One thing that we won't go out is it won't. One thing that we won't do is go out and look a mess. I've been blessed to have great directors, you know, throughout my throughout my musical career and musical journey. You know, I started out with Al Level, who is currently now director of bands at Kentucky State University. Um, he really, he's the one that put the trombone in my hand when I was about four feet tall and 98 pounds. So, you know, and the thing that I took away from him that I instilled in myself now is the discipline, the precision. Um, the, the the really the swagger, you know, that, you know, we, we're going to be the best. And, you know, that's why we have our mantra now that, we, you know, three things. That's all we do. Kill, destroy, and conquer when we show up, you know. Um, I've been blessed to be around great arrangers like Mario Warren, who's currently uh, chief staff arranger and assistant director at Alabama A&M University in Huntsville. Um, and Eric Dixon, who was uh, assistant band director at Central State University. And those guys really influenced my arrangements 
a lot that I write today because it's something about those cats, man. You know, I, I, it's like walking in dad's shoes where you try to write like them because they had they had this great mind and sound concept that's really original, and, you know. So I, I, I try to implement every chance I get, every time I put put pen to paper, you know. It's, it's, just, it's just like Warren would write it. Or if I write a ballad, it's like, it's just like Dixon would write it, you know, and things like that. So they've been a great influence. And also my professor, uh, Mr. Ramon Key at Central State University, he really helped me develop my drill writing technique. Um, as far as North College Hill and the instrumental music department and the program in general, I want to make sure that North College Hill becomes a million dollar program. Now what I mean by that is that every year that we graduate a senior in class, I want to make sure that they have at least a million dollars in scholarship offers in bad money zone not, you know, academics, because, you know, we're strong with academics, so that's going to be there. But I want them to have various offers, at least totaling a million dollars for all our combined seniors that we are bringing in every year. And with that, that money will help us give, you know, get our students wherever we need to go. You know, just whether it's... 1500 from here or 15000 from somewhere else. I want our students to have options just because they can play that instrument. That's my goal. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not necessarily always to be the best, you know, band in the land, you know. That comes, you know, in time. That comes. That's secondary. We want to be a strong musically sound program, and even stronger academically. We want to send 100% of our seniors and our graduating classes every year somewhere to a university. And that's my goal for North College Hill. That's my vision, you know. We'll, we'll have our years, we'll be up, we'll be down. It'll always be like that, everybody has it. But one thing that we, we want to have a name for is that we're gonna send people to college. We send that 10th grader, once that 10th grader becomes a senior, we send them to college. But that second grader, when he comes up or she comes up to high school, she gets in that band program or he gets in that band program, the expectation is already going to be, where do you want to go? <laughs> do you want to be in the cold? Do you want to be in the hot? Do you want to be on the west coast? Do you want to be on the east coast? I just wanted to give them the opportunity that the world is theirs and that horn is going to take them there. I'm Brandon D. Smith. And we are the sound of Troy.